Way, Mr. Speaker, and let me, Mr. Speaker, before addressing the issue of GST and the impact on senior citizens, uh, acknowledge those, Mr. Speaker, acknowledge those people in Canterbury who are suffering the devastating effects of this terrible earthquake. And, Mr. Speaker, let us also acknowledge the impact that it's had on members of this House who have also suffered personally in this tragedy. My own colleague on the Labour side, Brendan Burns, and I understand uh, Amy Adams, and of course the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. So let, Mr Speaker, let us remember that these people have suffered personally as well. Mr Speaker, I want to address the issue of GST and the impact on seniors. And I say, where is the voice? Where is the voice for senior citizens in this government? Hello? Hello? No one there. No one there, Mr Speaker, standing up for senior citizens. No one at all. And, Mr Speaker, can I say that I want to challenge the Minister for Senior Citizens to get up off his hind legs, take a call in this House and justify why there should be a 2.5% increase in GST, adding up to 15%, which is going to attack the most vulnerable in our society. Stand up. Take a call, Minister, and answer the challenge. What is the Minister doing about addressing the impact on the most vulnerable in our society? Mr Speaker, senior citizens are an important constituency who have contributed significantly to this country. Contributed significantly, sir, at building this nation. Just look around the wall, Mr Speaker, at the plaques. Casino, Gallipoli, Crete, just to name but a few. And Mr Speaker, when the Honourable Phil Goff, leader of the New Zealand Labour Party, offered me the seniors' portfolio, I was absolutely delighted. Absolutely delighted. Nothing to do with the fact that I've got an inherent interest. Nothing to do with that, Mr Speaker. But my desire to serve others. And I wonder, Mr Speaker, how much the appointment of Dr Woods as the Director General of Health will impact about serving others and the elderly. The attacks on seniors, Mr Speaker, continue. Mr Speaker, if you go around the country and you talk to grey power groups, one of the things, one of the things that I find, Mr Speaker, is that they are unhappy. They are unhappy with the advocacy for them at the highest levels in government. They say, where is the voice? Who is speaking up for seniors within government? Ineffective. Mr Speaker, I've been told about ACC, the cuts to ACC and the hearing, hearing aids and how that impacts on seniors. Very, very important. We've heard today, Mr. Mr. Speaker, about the Retirement Commissioner, uh, Diane Crossan. She puts a three-yearly report to government. And there's, oh, I understand, Mr. Mr. Speaker, that there's uh, information in there about the possibility of raising the age for superannuation to 67. And I want to know what the Minister for Senior Citizens thinks about that. Because what we have here, Mr. Speaker, ah, oh, look. Look at them, Mr Speaker. It's obviously having some impact. Obviously having some impact. They're hurt, Mr Speaker, because they won't speak up for the senior citizens in this House. But I'll tell you what, Mr Speaker, I will. I'm a strong advocate for senior citizens, and I will continue to be a strong advocate because nearly 60 per cent, nearly 60 per cent, Mr Speaker, of our superannuitants have nothing more than the basic superannuation in which to survive on. And what are we having? An increase in GST at 2.5%. And who are going to be the better off? Cabinet ministers. Cabinet ministers, those high income earners, they'll be getting an extra hundred plus dollars a week. But will the senior citizens? No way, Mr Speaker. And what's going to happen? Increases in GST are going to inflate or going to uh, increase the rate of inflation up to around about 6%. So-called increase given to seniors won't even compensate. So, Mr Speaker, in finishing, let me just say this. I challenge the Minister for Senior Citizens to speak up and to advocate on behalf of seniors in this House.
Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. John Bassett.